Chicken butts, chicken butts, I want some eggs, chick butts. Chicken butts, chicken butts, I want some eggs, chick butts. Wow, Agathor. Did you do this to her, Floaty? Did you do that to her? Is this Princess and Frank and Floaty and Slagathor? Are they couples? Chicken butts, chicken butts, do 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 do. Chicken butts. Oh, look! The tree's laid an egg! Nice! Randall! Randall, you move quickly, sir! What do you have to say for yourself? Patrice just got here! Oh, that's right. You don't talk. Okay! Hey there everybody, Mizion reporting for duty, and today is ARC episode 19, and we're in a sun shower. Look, it's sunny and raining. I love sun showers in real life, and we're getting one here in ARC. It's wonderful. And uh, today I'm going to go out, and I'm going to try to find a Sarko, or a high-level dino of any kind. But, Sarko is what I'd like to try to find today. We're going to go out. I've already made a Sarko saddle. Um, got it right here. And we only have the primitive Sarko saddles over at the forge, so that's what we got to work with right now. Um, as I understand it, they hang out at the Malza Rivers, or sometimes they hang out off the shore. I saw one over in that direction and on the other side of D-Max Place. I'm going to go over there first. I've also seen one on the map around uh, sunlight. Around... What? 28... 68. 28, 68. Yep, somewhere around there I saw one. So I want to go around the island. I'm going to look for a Sarko. See if I can find one. If I can't find one, then we'll just have to tame something else, I guess. I don't know. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to go out and do some stuff. Hopefully get something cool. Let's go, Razorwing Face, to the sky! Oh! You, that was a weird poop. So we did find a Sarko over here, it's only level 12. I'm not really going to be too picky about the level of my Sarko today, but 12 is a little bit too low. So, what we're going to do is kill this Sarko. I don't know why, but some of these... Oh, we're going to try to kill a Sarko. Where are you going? You're a slip racer. Rawr! Sarko! Are you an attacker, or are you a runner? Alright, so... We're gonna kill this one. Uh, for some reason, th these and Spinos seem to have, and maybe this is every dino, but I know with these guys, there are areas where they seem to spawn. I've found the Sarko over here before and killed it. That one was right there. So I know on a few other places, we're gonna scour the shoreline as well as the rivers and try to find a Sarko now. I'm doing a quick fly over the new water pen. I just kind of wanted to show what it looked like from the sky. This area, my area is gigantic, and I think that I have more area in the water than on land, but that looks pretty cool. I need to fix those uh, wall, where the walls join there a little bit, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Got us a nice area there. All right, so we traveled quite a fair ways. We found a level 36 Sarko and a level, I think, what was 76 Sarko? And so these guys are kind of hard to find, and I don't really need anything very high level. As you can see, I'm very far away from my compound right now, but that's how I had to search. You had to search in the in the inlets, the waterways, and on the coastlines. And we found this guy in a little bay here. So what we're going to do is fly the Sarko away. Come on, Sarko, follow me. And then I'm going to go over there, and I think he's stuck in a tree. Let's kill this, Sarko. I, I don't know if you get Prime off these guys, but that's something we can test right now. Yeah, you do get Prime. I'm kind of sad that I killed that Sarko. I was trying to keep it around, but like I said, this Sarko, I think, is stuck. And that's perfect. It makes our team really easy. It's been staring. It looks like it's stuck, or but it's not. Maybe its tail is stuck? It's stuck on something, because it was staring at a parasaur over here. See, it kind of moving around in the one spot. That might make it really easy for us to tame, or it might get dislodged and attack us. Oh, man, these bees, these bugs that come around all the time, they're such a pain. Oh, nice. That was easy enough. Anyway, we're going to sit down right here, and we're going to have ourselves a look and see what we can do to this guy. We're going to use the old crossbow. 
What is he attacking? Oh, he's attacking an ant. Yeah, seems like he's really stuck right there. And let me see what we can do. Get rid of these ants. Start pew pewing this guy in the face. Pew! In the face! Pew! In the face! All right. So, I'm shooting way too fast already. So that was not very smart. All right, so shoot him in the face. Well, I'm happy that he's not moving. I'm worried about other predators, but I mean, this is pretty, they're gonna be a pretty quick tame, I think. Razor wing face is over there by himself. You know, I probably should make sure that he's on neutral or not on neutral. I need to make sure he's on passive. He must be on passive. Keep him on passive all the time. Your snout's getting full of full of arrows, man. Oh, baring your teeth at us. How often do you get this close to an animal? I just don't understand what it's stuck on. It's got to be stuck on that tree right there, but I don't know how. Pew pewing it in the face. Still nothing, uh, nothing to worry about here now it's got all these little nostrils on the front i really don't know if like it was supposed to be extra teeth or what they are but we'll have a good look at his face after we've got him tamed or uh, when he when we've got him unconscious so i'm gonna keep shooting this guy he's level 76 might take a while to, to take down i'm not really sure And he's down, folks. Down for the count. Now, I hear the torpor on these guys is pretty high. It's not going to go down super fast, so we should be good there. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I might have messed up and not uh, not got a preserving bin on Razor Wing Face. I don't have one. He's got six minutes on him on him. I'm going to go ahead and make a preserving bin and be back with you. All right, so we've gone out, we've got our prime, we've got a bunch on here, um, seven minutes on those, we've got seven minutes on those, we're going to start feeding soon, this guy's going to take, uh, looks like, what, nine feedings, so hopefully that's going to be enough to tame him, there wasn't a lot around here, uh, there was a ton of stegos, I had to like go all around the area to find the stegos to get the prime, so that was kind of tedious, but it got done. We're gonna start putting meat on this guy. We're gonna make sure that we have enough on us. Grab a bunch of these. And start throwing them on here and see what they do. Go. We've tossed a ton on here. His taming is going way up really fast. We're gonna take these. Oh, see? I love this method. I love doing it this way. We gotta give uh, give this guy some sort of name, and uh, you know, I'm not really sure. Let's let's hold off on that for a few minutes. I'm gonna think about that one. So we've got the Sarko, and I actually brought the saddle out this time, so we could test this guy out right away. I'm gonna get some meat on him, throw some regular meats on there, and uh, we'll throw these on there for good measure, cause why not? As always, we're going to break down our bins and make a, a preserving bin and put it back on Razor Wing Face. We're going to grab our spark powder, both thems, and we had to build this stuff because I didn't have spark powder with me this time. I did not prepare correctly. So preparation is always good. Make sure you always prepare when you go out and you have all your stuff things so you don't have to worry about it too much. All right, so let me see. What are we doing? I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I'm making a preserving bin. We're gonna stick it on him with these. Got tons of meat again. Get my tons more spoiled. I'm gonna start putting those on our scorp. So we got that taken care of. And now we've got our Sarko. I'll name him when we get back to the base. We think of a good name. So these guys go around okay. Oh, is this this is right, we got him stuck on a tree here. He was stuck when we found him, right? That means we're gonna have to take care of that. I bet that does it. Yeah! So there we go. Really slow on land, it looks like. Chompy chomp. Oh, we didn't even look at his stats. So what do we got? We got 1680 health, 1760 max. Got 364 melee damage. 
378 weight and 945 stam. So that's not too bad. And I want to look at his snout here. What are these things? He's got like teeth on the front of his face. That's weird. That's weird. You're weird, Sarko guy. I gotta go into the water and see how he swims. Hopefully he swims faster than he walks, eh? Do 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 dump stump 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 stump. Oh, way faster. Way faster than he walks. This is pretty good. Kill some fishes? Wow, there's a lot of fish here. Wow. And uh it doesn't turn that great in the water. I'm gonna stop sprint I'm not even sprinting. Come on, turn! I wanna eat Oh man, that's a little lame. You guys aren't that cool. I mean I don't know if you're seeing this, but I'm having a trouble. I get get in the water. He moves forward really fast. It's not turned very fast. I'm trying to turn right now. Turns really slow. We've got piranhas in here, and they really want to eat our faces. Kill the cod. Yeah. Or coel. My bad. These guys kill fish pretty quick. Now I wonder what they do with animals. We've got animals around here, a bunch of trikes and whatnot. We'll go try to kill this trike. Super slow on land, not really fast at all. But they're pretty cool, riding a big gator. Oh, you know. I think I know what I'm going to name him. I think, I think, I think. There's a Fiomi, let's go kill that thing. What level is it? I'm just going to chomp it, one one chomp. Level 112 Fiomi, should tame it. Not going to tame it though, going to chomp it. Chompa, 112. Oh, and obviously, it's going to run away faster than we can catch it. So, there you go. Disadvantage. We need to t attack something that's going to come right at us. So, let's go go attack a turtle. That 112 Fiomia, though. Not that we need Fiomias. I've got a pretty high level Fiomia back at the base. All right, turtle. And I didn't check its level. I want to whack me a few times. Level 8. Wow. So, not, not a super fast kill on this turtle. That moves around its snout quite a, quite a bit. So we got that turtle dead. So it looks like these guys are pretty fast in the water. Pretty slow on land. Oh, we got this other turtle after us. Not super, not super strong at attacking. I'm not really sure what kind of use I'm going to get out of him. Uh, except for have him look pretty near the base, but... We've got a Sarko. So at level 113, pretty good stuff. I'm going to get it back to the base. He's going to have to follow me. I'm going to have to make sure that he follows me through the water so that I don't have to go super, super slow and razor wing face. Anyway, we set out and did what we needed to do today, so that's awesome. We didn't get sidetracked. We didn't get something different. We got our Sarko, a new addition to our base, and it's slow. What do we got for a name on you? Or uh, a gender, male. You know what I'm going to call him? Oh, I'm going to call him nothing if I don't... Uh, but I'll go to change name. So we're going to call him. Only one person in the world is going to get this. Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper is going to be the name. Of our Sarko. Slip is a gator. Hmm. Slip gator. I think D-Max got one named Slip gator though. But yeah. So gatekeeper. Slip gator. What's the correlation there? I wonder. Hmm. All right. I'm going to go back over to Razor Wing Face. We're going to get on and bring this guy back to the base and see how he fits in with everybody over there. See you soon. So we made it back to the base with Gatekeeper, and we're uh, having a lot of fun with him. He's not very fast. He's not very fast outside of the water anyway. He does go pretty quickly in the water. It's turning, though. That turn, I mean, it's just super slow. I don't know if you can see this. I'm kind of... Let's see if we can find some deeper water. But so you watch. I can turn myself sideways. And when I turn myself sideways, it, it takes him a really long time to actually turn in that direction. Now, it's a little slow for me. I mean, that's... It is what it is. But as you guys know, in the last episode, we tamed a Giganto with Slip and Z. And since then, I've gone out and got my own Giganto. And I want to introduce you guys to him. Where are you at? He's roaming around here somewhere. There he is, Gigolo. Gigolo, my Giganto. And he's on Wander in the base. And the reason why I have him doing that, and I'll show you, when you guys have these guys wander, disable wandering, they pick up fiber. 
Look at this. All this free fiber. You just set him to wander, and he'll and and we, on our server we have everything set so that it will uh, spawn pretty close to structures. That's why we got this rock here. And so these guys are, will wander around where there are bushes, and they'll stop and they'll grab fiber. And actually, you'll see the bush collapse. Let's see if we can get him to do it. All right, you go wander. So he's gonna go down. I don't know. That's his eating animation or his fiber animation. There you go. See, he got some fiber. We'll watch his inventory. <laughs> got 38 fiber in that last slot. Now we got 69. And they just go around and they grab that stuff. So they're great. And I wanted to showcase another couple things about him. So we're going to take him off Wander. We're going to get on him. And I put my trike helmet on. I said no wandering. I guess he's... He's set to do the last thing that he was going to do after I disabled him, which was walk over to that. So now he's done. I put my trike helmet on him. You can put helmets on these guys. Now, it's my trike helmet that I have on them is a ramshackle helmet, and it gives them 143, 143 armor. Now, the armor on the helmet that you put on him isn't the same as when you put a saddle. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong inventory. Saddle on these guys. When you put a saddle on these guys, they get very low armor, but it doesn't lose durability but with these guys they when they get hit they lose durability off the armor that you have on them so you get a lot more armor but it it loses durability but these guys are beasts they are really good i'm gonna start pumping up his melee like crazy and i'm gonna go get more of these and i'm gonna test everything with these guys but th they they are super super powerful beasts and if we find oh we got this new wall check us out we're gonna go attack this guy what level are you? 16, very low level. And we're gonna attack him. We're gonna beat the crap out of it. They are beasts. I mean, you saw what we did with the Sarko when we attacked something. I mean, it was nothing. It did no damage. These guys, did it take any damage? Very, very, very little amount. What level are you, eight? We need to find something bigger. These guys are boring. So I'm going to go find something bigger to kill. BRB. Now you can actually swim with these guys too. And they're actually really good swimmers. And they'll swim while you're on their back. It's really neat. Stamina is pretty good on these guys. They've been running for quite a while now. And we're going to go find something dangerous to, to take on. There's usually a bunch of big high level things over here. Well that's only 36. I don't really. And then I'm going to run away. I want something that's going to. Gonna go after me. Gonna try to attack me. Uh, the Stego will, but is it super low level? We need to find some high level guy to try this on. Level 8? You're not cool enough for me. There's an Anki. Those are pretty rugged. Level 68 Anki. Let's go fight him. Go fight this guy. What's up, Aki? Fight him! Now, it doesn't have a 1100% melee damage, but look at him go. It's like, bam! 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 Just beat the crap out of it. Woo! Look at the damage that we took. Only about 300, less than 300 damage we took. We're gonna put it into melee. We got about 20 points of uh, 20 percentage points of melee damage out of it. What do we got on this Bronto? You guys see me kill Brontos with Razor Wing face all the time. Let's see what this Bronto's all about. Hit you in the leg, Bronto. Let's go in the front. Bam. I know it's a low level, but I mean, look at them. They're rugged. And on top of that, they can throw you into the water. It's so cool. I want to go for a swim. Send me into the water. Woo! Going swimming. Jigolo's just going to hang out up there. Ain't no thing. And... We've seen several of these, and their colors are, they range, and I've only seen three or four different color sets 
Um, this one's gray and brown. You've got a yellowish, like a tannish, like a light, light tan colored one, and then you've got the dark brown ones. Um, we had two dark brown ones. One was male and one was female, and the female had a different color offset than the male. What is this at D-Max building? It's kind of cool. Multiple doorways on top of each other make big picture windows. I like that. Might have to try that somewhere. Neat. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys. Um, give you a little information on them. And watch him uh, follow me here into the water. One thing I did notice about these guys is it's really difficult to make something else follow you if you're on the back of it. See how it moves its arms like it's swimming? Oh, now it's just bouncing. Of course you're just bouncing now. Where are you going? See how he's moving his arms like he's swimming? So, you know, a lot of mobs, they'll just kind of bounce like that, bounce through the water. These guys have some sort of swimming animation, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to show you another another couple things about these guys real quick. All right, so we're back at the base now, and I want to show you guys a couple of things that I was talking about. One thing is, when you're on the back of these guys, you can't seem to whistle at any of your tames. You can't, you can't whistle at any of your dinos to get them to follow you. And you can do, you can do the... The, the passive, or these, these whistles, passive whistle, passive, whistle, neutral, and whatnot, but you can't make them follow you. So I don't know if that's a glitch or something that they intended to do, but... but the other thing that I want to show you guys, too, is that I think I'm going to get rid of my floor-level ladders in here, because if you want, you can just keep one of these guys around and be like, I'm going to go upstairs. Yay! Thank you, Gigantopithecus, for sending me upstairs. Oh, I still got him on wander. Stop wandering. No, stop wandering. Oh. Disable wandering. All right, so his wandering is disabled. But yeah, I mean, how amazing is that? You can get rid of all of your lower le lower level ladders, like literally, if you'd like, and just use these guys to get up. And I think that's kind of cool. It leaves more space to to put things down here, and so I think that's what I'm going to do with this guy. Pretty fun. So I'm going to bring him back out here. And another thing I wanted to test. Is I want to see when you have these guys on wander. Ah, oh, come on. I want to take the berries out of his inventory. I don't know. I, we know they don't gather any berries, but I want to see if this guy will maintain his own food. 3588. Is that 3588? 3588. 3588.5. No, it does not look like he gets any food. 3588.4, still going down. It does look like while he's locked in this animation gathering fiber that his food doesn't go down, though. But then as soon as he gets up and starts walking around, it goes down. But it's going down really slow. Do I have... I don't know. Berries on him. Pretty slow, but obviously he's not, you know, gaining 10 points of food off of... Off of every time that he sits down, so... Anyway. So we got to do a couple of cool things today. Got to showcase some of the abilities of the... Abilities of the Gigantopithecus. Got to tame a Sarko and bring it back to the base. Gatekeeper is over here, hanging out by himself. So, overall, it's a pretty good day. Got a Giganto. Got a... Sarko. All right. So if you like the video, guys, please press the like button. If you have any comments, please mention those in the, in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And as always, be excellent to each other. Later on, folks, you have a wonderful day.